Hi, I'm David, and this is fifth episode in the Venture Resolve free course. Today we are going to talk about advanced editing. If you haven't seen the first four episodes, I highly encourage you to watch. So today we are going to talk about how you can select footage and then start your assembly. On top of that, we are going to talk about advanced trimming. So in last episode we talked about um, symmetrical trimming, today we are going to talk about asymmetrical trimming. So it's going to be really interesting and without further ado let's start with episode. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve and first of all I want to make a disclaimer that what I'm going to show you is just an idea and you can apply this and you should apply this to different kinds of projects. I'm going to show you example with one character and one scene but you can of course and you should again apply that to multiple characters, multiple scenes or if you have different type of work that is not maybe narrative again you can adjust and apply to your kind of workflow it will be very easy to integrate because idea is simple but I think it's very powerful you should definitely know it first of all you want to open sequences and selects this is by the way a folder structure we did create this in the first tutorial so if you haven't checked that out I'm going to open scene 1 and now scene 1 Jesse this is the timeline I created and placed all the clips that contains footage with Jesse in the first scene so I need that as you can see here I have first setup and second setup and these are different takes these different colors represent different shot types first one is white second is kind of medium and uh, this last one is close-up shot it's gradual change also in color and shot type we go closer as color gets lighter so first you want to do is um, set up a marker so I can say here set up uh, one and uh, set up two you can give whatever color you want and you'll see why that is important oh sorry set up to um, as you can see here's the name uh, if I go closer here you go through these takes and uh, just pick what are the good ones for example I can say this is good one this medium is good one or I don't know this close-up is excellent you can even put it layer above if it's excellent but you get the point you just create that selects timeline and when you will later go back to that you can just easily pull that out when I do narrative I make a cut after each set of lines so if there is like five lines and then there is another character that starts speaking I just cut there and judge performance was it good was it not so I leave it down or bring it up a layer or two it depends how good it was you do that for each scene each setup and of course each character after you make all your selects for example one scene then you can start assembling for example if you don't have narrative but something else like documentary or if you make some YouTube series or something so you have b-roll you can apply this similar method you can just make a new marker and say what it is for example city or um, we can even change color or maybe it's not city maybe it's uh, you know um, maybe it's house or whatever and you can have different types of 
p-roll and you can assign different markers again depends on what you need and you can upgrade this system when you have all that and you are ready for assembly uh, you have to create a new sequence sequences cut and open main cut start a new assembly so you open that and now everything is empty you have to go to timeline view options and click on this stacked timelines so as you can see it's in one jesse and our new assembly so now what you want to do is close media pool go to edit index and click on this icon here just to make it bigger go to show markers and all and now it will show all the markers but why it doesn't show anything because we don't have markers we have to go to the scene where we have markers so we go to scene one jesse and as you can see we can click here on the setup and it directly goes to that marker again we can like pull everything copy from this timeline and paste it in this timeline for example or if someone prefers to do it like real pancake timeline you just click on this icon and select the timeline main cut here and it opens up new timeline and now you can uh, copy and paste directly from this timeline without having to go you know different directions um, and you can just build out assembly here copy this one if you don't want uh, to paste it on the second layer all you have to do just disable this second track so you will now paste on the first track and you go on and on building up assembly and now you might wondering why on earth did we use these markers and there are only two markers you can easily see well if there is more than two like setups and if you have more than two markers for example if you really need to write down what this shot is about uh, how the performance is what the character says and have a really long timeline for that then will be a lot of markers and maybe if you don't want to do so many uh, timelines you can for example put multiple uh, characters into one timeline and again just uh, make a distinction with those different markers and you can have full uh, list of markers and then again you can just click on them and it directly goes to that marker and now when you build that assembly you can close everything down and even this timeline like this and now you have your assembly and now let's talk about uh, advanced trimming we did talk about trimming in the last episode so if you haven't seen that check that out i'll put a link into the description if you use this icon you can trim everything in or maybe trim everything out depends if you want to make shot longer or shorter you can move cut point to make something longer or shorter that kind of trimming is called symmetrical trimming what i'm going to show you now is asymmetrical trimming what is asymmetrical trimming you basically make j and l cuts you hear audio before video if it's a j cut or video before audio if it's an l cut so why would you want to do that when you listen conversation in real life when you turn your head you hear voice before you see the person because it takes time to turn the head so we want to mimic that in the video so j and l cuts are basically that you have to go to tree mode you have to see this icon click on video site and then 
symmetrical would be if you click here on audio side also but asymmetrical if you click on this side and now look what happens they don't go in the same direction you see it is a J cut if you want to make an L cut you have to go into another direction and this all can be applied of course if you have multiple layers when it's much harder to do that but still it is very very useful and one more thing I want to show you is extend edit which I have mapped to my keyboard why extend is good you can select edit points in just drag or instead of dragging you can select edit point and just click and look what happens it goes to the playhead you select cut point and just click extend edit and it will go here and that's it if this lesson was helpful you can like it share it and subscribe for next lessons and for more editing tips tutorials also filmmaking tips and tutorials let me know down in the comments what you did like in this episode what you didn't if you need anything extra explained or anything else really i'll be glad to answer down in the comments or perhaps make a new video make an extra video to help you out so that was it uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time when we'll talk audio bye